Let's take a look at this CC1101 antenna and chip for the Flipper Zero. Let's take a look here. So I ordered this from Poland and it showed up like this and I was confused when I got it. But then I opened it and I figured out what a great design it is. So it's a 3D printed case with the module inside. Look at that. It holds the module and the antenna. Boom. Little hole on top. Let's take it out. So this is a CC1101. It also has some type of a, a power converter to make the signal a lot clearer, a lot cleaner while it's going over these pins and the power. It's also encased <laughs> in what looks to be a Lego. Isn't that kind of cool? Look at that. CC1101 Flipper Zero Antenna. It really is a cool design and that it fits so nicely right in here. Look at that. Now let's pull it out. Now, this touts as being a lot stronger, more reliable than the chip currently in the flipper. Let me take this. Place it right on the flipper here. Let's take a look. Let's bring the other one out. Boot this guy up. And we'll go to sub gigahertz. And we'll try to read here. Let's do a frequency analyzer. And let's see what happens. All right, so now we'll go here. Let's do uh, just a brute force real quick on the 433. Oh, there it goes. You can see that it's launching off here. Works really well. I've noticed it increases the range a lot and it uses significantly less pins than some modules that require both sides. Now, that's not all that came with this though, which I thought was kind of interesting. So, it also came with, where is it? This, look at this, this is, a three meter long dual pole antenna. It came with the device. Three, essentially a three meter long antenna, right? Dual poles. So let's stick this sucker on there and see what that looks like. Very interesting. What a great addition. I mean, something like this could be mounted anywhere, really. One pole there, next pole right here. All right, so I've got this antenna screwed on. Now we take this, let's take this antenna off, put it in our nifty case here, that off to the side, and let's plug this guy in. So this is touted, and, and I haven't done a lot of tests with it yet. I've, I've done a couple. But this is touted as being able to, you know, read and throw signal, especially read 
signal from hundreds of meters. Wow. You know what, I want to go to the radio settings. Okay, good. All right, let's, let's throw some signal out with this guy. All right, let's bring this one back in. Here we go. Let's throw it. There it goes. Wow. Kind of cool. I mean, right here, we are not testing the range of this thing, but a three meter antenna dual pole, this thing's going to go really, really far. And what a super cool design on this thing. Let's put the, let's put the original antenna back, the one that came with it. Put that back on. Even without this dual pole antenna, this thing throws a signal very, very far. The dual pole antenna though, though I have not done extensive, extensive testing, I've done some, it is very cool. Yeah, what a great little design on this thing. Encased in <laughs> what he's made to look like a Lego. Just super cool. Yeah. CC1101 chip antenna flipper accessories. Very nifty.